Hi, I'm Peter Atia, president and founder of the Nutrition Science Initiative, or NUSI. What if most of what we believe to be true about nutrition is actually wrong? What if the science behind our dietary recommendations isn't very good? What if Americans are getting more and more overweight because we're actually doing what we're told? At the Nutrition Science Initiative, our goal is to get reliable answers to the fundamental questions. What is a healthy diet? And how do the foods I eat contribute to my overall level of health or illness? These questions have never been reliably answered, despite widespread preconceptions to the contrary. For the past several decades, Americans have been working harder than ever to be healthy, to lose weight, to eat well, but we keep getting heavier and heavier and more and more burdened with obesity and the diseases linked to obesity, like diabetes, heart disease, and Alzheimer's disease. We need an effective way to address these problems, and the solution is within our reach. NUSI was founded to specifically address the relationship between nutrition and health and how they impact each other and relate to each other. Our mission is to reduce the economic and social burden of obesity and obesity-related diseases by improving the quality and reliability of science in nutrition and obesity research. To that end, we've recruited a scientific advisory board and a consortium of scientists consisting of the most respected clinicians and scientists from major universities and institutions who carry out the most cutting edge research in the fields of endocrinology, metabolism, diabetes, and obesity. This team will guide the design and execution of rigorous, well-controlled research studies that will dramatically improve the quality of public information about eating and health, and in doing so, significantly lessen the rates of obesity and its related diseases across our population. Based on this research, it's our goal that by the year 2020, the prevalence of obesity in the United States could be reduced from 35% to 15%, and the prevalence of diabetes could be lessened from 8% to 2%. As a result of this, healthcare spending could be reduced from nearly 18% of GDP to less than 10%. These questions and problems are too important and too expensive, both to our quality of life and to our economy, to allow them to continue any further without rigorous and uncompromising inquiry. We all want to be healthy, and it's within our reach. So we must engage, develop new research standards, and fuel this change. We invite you to join us in this revolutionary initiative.